Good day, YouTubers! This is Carlito, and welcome again to my YouTube channel. So for today, we will be doing an unboxing and short review of this exclusive 2-pack Hawkeye and Black Widow in their respective quantum suits from Avengers Endgame. But before I proceed, again, I would like to ask you guys to please do watch, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay? Let's go! So, basically, this figure was released, I believe, in 2018. It's an exclusive, uh, I'm not sure if it's Walmart or Target. So, it features Hawkeye and Black Widow in their respective quantum suits. Okay, so I was able to buy it from a local online store. I'll put a link of, it, of his Shopee page below. I believe he still has some of these for sale. Uh, these are not cheap. <laughs> so if you look at e eBay, basically they go as high as $50 and up. I think that's already cheap. So if you're lucky, you can get them actually cheaply if you're patient enough to wait <laughs> for people to be selling it. Okay, so let's take a look at the box up close. So as you can see for the two pack, you have Hawk Eye with his bow and scarlet witch with her weapons and you have an extra head sculpt here of uh iron man ant-man and nebula okay so at the side you could see let me put it back uh hawkeye's uh, photo and the other side there's the photo of black widow and on the back, of course, there's a short bio of Hawkeye and Black Widow. Okay, so with that, let's take them out of their packaging. There, so out of the packaging. So this is what the figures look like in their respective clamshells. So let me take, close it up a bit for you guys to see. So here is uh, Hawkeye, Clint Barton with his... Um, bow and uh, extra head accessories so i really like the head sculpt of uh, nebula here so you have ant-man's helmet and iron man so then you can see uh, black widow so i believe this uh, head sculpt is similar to the avengers endgame uh, black widow figure okay so let's take these two figures out of the clamshell now there so now i have both figures out of the clamshells so as you can see widow and clint barton here so natasha and clint um they really look really nice uh, i really like the quantum suit figure uh, so far my only peeve really for this figure is that it's not movie accurate if you were if you're able to see the movie so i wouldn't be spoiling anything so it was released a few years ago already is that the quantum suit is white most likely when it, when they initially did it probably this is the color and maybe post editing they change it to white but so anyway let's take a look at each figure up close so i'll start with the black widow so as far as the head sculpt goes it's really really nice so you can move the head okay so as far as articulation you uh -huh. can move the arms you can rotate double jointed as far as the hands you can see the um i forgot what they call this one uh what tony stark did sort of a gps quantum gps or something <laughs> so it's really the you the quantum uniform really looks nice so you can rotate this part mm -hmm. you can move uh the the limbs up to this point you can move it back hmm not much because the bottom part is blocking the restricting the movement so double joints again here the foot uh f backward forward and side swivel okay so that's that's uh, natasha 
the head sculpt's really nice, I think. Uh, I really like the head sculpt for Natasha. So let's go for Clint. So far, uh, I really like the head sculpt also of Clint Barton. So this, basically, people are getting this really for this guy. So later, I'll show you guys why, okay? So as far articulation, for the abdomen, you can move it down, back. Uh, for the elbows, similar with uh, the widow figure, you can rotate double joint elbows. The hands, you can rotate. Okay, so again, there's the quantum GPS. Uh, <laughs> please correct me if I'm saying it wrong. If you look at the sculpt, no, it looks really, really polished. It's one thing I like about the qu these quantum suits. So as far as the legs... You can move it this far. Again, on the back, very limited movements. Okay, so... Uh, knees. There's some double joints. As far as the foot, it's a bit stiff, but more likely similar with the Black Widow. Okay? This guy is pretty uh, sought after because of the head sculpt. So... Basically, what people do is they get the two-pack of uh, Natasha and Clint. So, sometimes they head swap this uh, head sculpt of um, Natasha to the, I think, uh, Avengers Infinity War Black Widow. The one with the blonde short hair. <laughs> it's, I think, one of the least popular head sculpts of uh, Natasha. <laughs> So they try to switch it with this one and they remove the the vest <laughs> initially. So but right now because of the Black Widow movie, that vest had some uh value, <laughs> no, sentimental value already. Okay. Now for the Clint, actually um the prices of this really is jacking up really because of the head sculpt and of course the bow, the bow accessory. Okay, because what they do is they swap the Jeremy Renner head. So let's see, let me see if I can pop it off. Okay, so and they put it in a Ronin figure there. So now if you're trying to recreate the movie from uh, Endgame for your display then you can now have Hawkeye in his Ronin uh, costume okay so which is re looks really really nice uh, if you notice my Ronin I already took off the, the jacket because it was restricting the movement but uh, overall actually it depends on personal preference but for me I really like how this looks like as is without the without the uh, Ronin jacket. Okay, so let's do some uh, si size comparisons no, of these figures. By the way, um, if you're wondering, this is basically the same. There's also a figure sold that has the Captain America head. Okay, so basically this is the same body sculpt as that figure. Okay, so. Let's do some short uh, size comparisons of these figures. Okay, guys. So, as far as size comparisons, now I have the Quantum Suit uh, Clint and Natasha alongside Brotor and Ant-Man. So, you can see um, they scale really well with the other Marvel Legends figure. Um, so, I'll try to compare their size now with another action figure. Okay, so now I have uh, Clint and Natasha alongside uh, my Endgame Black Widow and my... Uh, uh, this is actually... Uh, the body came from Peter Parker from the Spider-Man and I just swapped the head. So basically that that's how they look like together with other figures. Okay, so now this is the two figures alongside a ZD toy uh, Professor Hulk. Basically, this is the only Hulk figure that I have. 
So, as you can see, if you're trying to recreate the endgame characters, the ZD Toy Hulk looks uh, nice. No? It can match well with your Marvel Legend figures. <laughs> but this guy really has very limited articulation, which is my only gripe with the ZD Toy. As far as appearance-wise, it looks great. Okay, so here they are now, standing side by side with the other uh, Quantum Suit figures I got. So, so the Tony Stark head sculptor is from the Infinity Saga Tony. Uh, Steve is from the Worthy Cap head sculpt. Um, Rhodes, I believe, is from the, I think, the War Machine Mark II, if I'm not mistaken. So there's Nebula, um, Ant-Man, and Brotor. Um, definitely Brotor is not in scale because of his body type, but hopefully Hasbro releases it uh, along with the Professor Hulk, either in the uh, Professor suit or <laughs> in the Quantum suit, maybe. A uh, second wave of the Infinity Saga line. They make a two-pack of uh, Brotor and Hulk in their quantum suits. That's my wish list. <laughs> I hope Hasbro's listening. Hello, Hasbro. Just a quick idea for you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in closing, the question is: Is it worthing? Is it worth getting these figures? I say hell yeah. <laughs> If you look at it, they look really amazing. Now, if you put them on a display shelf, they would really stand out. No? It really, 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 really looks amazing. Hopefully, they do a uh, Professor Hulk and Brotor in the Quantum Suit. So, basically, these are best efforts at the moment. By the way, if you're asking, pala, um, the rocket is from the basic figure no uh with thor so basically that's the only rocket in quantum suit and i think it scales well with the uh, rest of the other figures okay so in closing if you want to recreate this one <laughs> so most likely you'd be needing uh most uh, well if you want no you can get two packs if you can <laughs> of the hawkeye and uh widow Basically, the body of this you can easily get off eBay. And even the Captain America in Quantum Suit, I believe, is selling for $10 or 10 bucks at the official Hasbro page in eBay. Maybe you can get some sellers that are selling it also cheaply. Here in the Philippines, I, at least for the body, you can get it for around uh, less than $10. So around probably 6 to 8 you know, if you can get lucky. Okay, so with that, guys, uh, again, thank you for watching this YouTube review of the Quantum Suit Hawkeye and Black Widow. I hope you appreciate the review. Again, uh, comments are very much welcome. So please comment below if you have any comments or suggestions on how I can improve my page. So with that, guys, thank you and stay safe.